All right, everyone, all good? All good? Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Today's press briefing will focus on the allegations of sexual abuse of a minor levied against one of our Jackson police officers and the subsequent suicide of that accused police officer. But well, here's Mayor Lumumba to address that. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for being present as we address this very important matter. Uh, I'd like to begin my remarks with first recognizing and addressing the human tragedy that has taken place. As uh, we are aware, uh, we offer and, and must offer our sincerest regrets to the family of this young lady. Uh, anytime we hear of an allegation of sexual misconduct, we take that seriously. As the father of two young girls, uh, I understand the fear that any parent would have with respect to their child suffering uh, such uh, a consequence. Secondly, I'd like to offer my condolences to the family of Officer Hollins. Uh, anytime there's a loss of life, uh, that also is, is a tragedy, and so we would like to offer our condolences to his family. Next, I would like to talk about responsibility. The gossip we commit can be deadly. It affects the lives. The words we use affects lives. Often the things that we say, we don't think of all of the people who hang in the balance of our words. You have a young lady who will have to deal with this story for the rest of her lives. You have family members of Officer Hollins, uh, a child of his, that will have to deal with the consequences of this for the balance of their lives. And so I'd like us to be admonished and consider the words that we use because the power of life and death is in the tongue. Next, I'd like to offer you the timeline of the events as we know them at this point as it re with respect to the response of the Jackson Police Department uh, once information was provided or acknowledgement was provided that there was some information to be given. Chief Davis was called late Saturday evening. And Upon that call, the mother of the young lady shared with him that she had some information she wanted to provide to him and agreed to meet him early Sunday morning. And Chief Davis agreed to do so and, in fact, met with the mother of this young lady early Sunday morning. After meeting with the mother of this young lady, Chief Davis, uh, she provided a video, a video of evidence that showed some sexual acts. In this video that Chief Davis was shown, it did not show any faces of any of the persons participating in those acts. Chief Davis then took this circumstance seriously. He immediately uh, called IAD and initiated an internal investigation. After initiating the internal investigation, he also called for an immediate criminal investigation to pursue. After IAD uh, met, IAD did their, their uh, investigation, which is not entirely concluded. They met with Officer Hollins and acknowledged, had him sign his uh, Garrity advisory and verbally told him that he was placed on immediate administrative leave. And then the criminal investigation continued where the mother of the young lady uh, was asked to come in to file a criminal affidavit. And so all within the same 24-hour period of time that Chief Davis was given this video, he not only initiated an internal investigation, placed the officer on administrative leave, he also started uh, he, he also acknowledged to the officer that he was being placed on administrative leave, but the criminal investigation was already underway. And so any comments, any stories, any reports to the contrary that Chief Davis did not respond immediately is an untruth and an out-and-out out lie. 
In moments of crisis, the true character of a person is revealed. And so out of this circumstance, this is confirmation of my choice for police chief. For him to not only meet with the mother of this young lady upon her request early on his Sunday morning, look at the evidence and then respond the same day, I think that that was an appropriate response. And so I think that in this very, very sad and tragic circumstance, we should not compound the tragedy with misinformation. And so that is why we offer this timeline at this time, and I ask that everyone continue to, con continue to keep all affected persons in their prayers as we deal with this very sad situation. I will step aside at this time for Chief Davis to provide you uh, some words, and then we will take questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon. Uh, first, I want my heart and prayers goes out to both families, the young lady and also the family of this officer. I cover all corners of this city, and I believe in community policing. And I've said it many, many times. If you, I give my number out. If you call, I'm coming. And I'm going to address whatever issue there is. If there are any misconduct on the police officer, we're going to deal with it. And we dealt with it. Like the mayor mentioned, within 24 hours, I received a call. I met with the family myself. I didn't send anybody out. Because the trust that I've built with the community, the mother wanted me to come and speak with her, and that's what I did. And once we did that, I found that it was enough evidence to place this officer on leave. We contacted Internal Affairs, placed this officer on leave. We also directed the mother and her daughter down here to our major investigation uh, division, and we uh, started the criminal investigation. So I want the citizen to know that you have a police department and you have a chief that cares about our city and we care, to care about the conduct of our officers. Anybody out there doing anything, doing any officer doing anything that is uh, inappropriate, you have my number. Call me and we're going to take swift action as we just did. So again, my heart goes out to the family on both sides. It's a tragedy but we will overcome it. So thank you. I'd like to uh, make one more statement before we open it up to questions, and I'd like to uh, acknowledge that I'm going to have our communications uh, director uh, manage the questions since we have a full house here uh, instead of having everyone uh, yell out at once and, and trying to, to uh, make sense of it. I think that we have to consider uh, that we have to place proper priority over facts and information above salacious headlines. Uh, and, and it's important uh, because when you have a circumstance like this, which is tragic in its own right, uh, compounding it with misinformation only leads to more tragedy and more harm uh, to all that are involved. And so I would, I would say that, that, that we must put facts and information over salacious headlines. officer would have been arrested one of these allegations, like in a domestic case, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be in the situation we are now. Do you want to address that? I think that the response of our police chief was entirely appropriate and accurate. Uh, when I tell you that, you know, the mother showed a video that did not show any faces, right? It did not identify the officer, then it would have been premature and it would have been a violation of his, his uh, due process and his, his rights, uh, his rights of uh, illegal search and seizure of his body, of his person, right? Uh, and so not having any faces and operating just off of that would have pre been premature. What he did do was instruct the mother to come in the same day to fill out a criminal uh, affidavit, right, so that he would have more information on file in order to pursue uh, the case as, as it appeared that it was going. Can you speak up for me? When they, that he did 
question. Is there a reason why the sheep didn't come out yesterday or at least put something out that mm -hmm. the investigation is ongoing? Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, anytime you're dealing with a case of, of uh, sexual misconduct, uh, the, the preference is to have some sensitivity towards the victim and, and, and be cautious of that. But another practical matter is the reason that the chief wasn't present, that he was out of town, right? Uh, so it wasn't, you know, it was, we, we do have to recall that this was Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so the chief being out of town at the time that this was taking place is not necessarily uh, an out of the question uh, or preposterous uh, scenario. Yeah. Uh, continued training. Uh, continued training. What, what you ultimately learn, and, and obviously this is not something that is condoned by our police department, uh, condoned by the city or this administration. Uh, and so you continue to, to uh, make that clear and, and, and train people. Uh, but even in the best efforts, uh, you can't account for uh, the, the bad choices that some humans make, right? Uh, and, and that's tragic. That's tragic. Uh, but, but we don't have the ability uh, to be present with people at every moment that they may make a bad decision. And then there are facts in this, this matter that, that we don't yet uh, know, right? Uh, there are some things that we will never know uh, now that this, this uh, officer uh, is deceased. And so uh, we can't get in his mind to know what, what the thinking was. Uh, but we will continue um, to learn from it. I hope that, that this is a lesson not only for our police department, but this is a lesson for our city. This is a lesson for anyone who wants to disseminate a message uh, and be, be considerate of what the implications of your words can be. Yeah. Eric, I saw your hand. Yeah. <coughs> can we, I guess, uh, clear up any uh, misinformation as it relates to uh, where, uh, where this officer was and what he was doing, where he was going at the time that he, uh, that at, at the time that he committed suicide? Was it anything work-related? Was he going to work? He was. He was. No, he was. He was on administrative leave, so he certainly was not going to work. Uh, one of the uh, misrepresentations that has been placed out there is that he was in a JPD vehicle. Uh, he was in his own vehicle. Uh, he was not in a JPD vehicle. When you were you found with all the force about five years, had he had any altercations or reprimands or anything that would have raised question about his performance as an officer prior to this? P that's personnel. That's personnel. I, I can't discuss that. So you've been in the force five years? Three years. Three, three, three years on the force? Yeah. <coughs> Let me ask our hands. Uh, she was trying to play it out there, but is there a concern about public perception on how JPD is a favorite university as far yeah. as? I, I think that, uh, you know, when, when misrepresentations are out there, uh, then that, that causes great concern. Uh, but when you put the facts before people and say, listen, within the same day that he received the information, he responded in every way, rep in every available way to him. He put him on leave, right? He uh, started an IED investigation. He started, initiated the criminal investigation, encouraged the mother to come in and fill out an affidavit, right? He operated with the information that he had available to him, right? So when we say that there's a video, uh, then, and we don't clarify that, and people have all of these, these you know, kind of uh, extended stories or extended versions of the story, then people envision that, that, you know, he's looking at faces and he knows who these people are and he's just failing to, to, uh, to take action, right? When you don't have all of the information to move on and to make an arrest, and to, in order to arrest somebody, right, you have to have information available. You are violating someone's life and liberty when you arrest them, and so you have to have all of the information to you. And so not to have that, he operated within the guidelines of the information that was available to him at that time. Mayor, uh, I, underst I understand your timeline, but based on Apartment Ross, he says that the chief uh, made contact with the family on Saturday and that he committed to meeting with them on Saturday but did not do that, and he scheduled it uh, for Sunday, and then they spent a few hours at the police department on Sunday after that. Any truth to the Saturday connection? I'll let Chief talk to that. <coughs> but let me say this. The fact uh, that Chief made a commitment uh, to a family to view something and did not know what he was going to view at that time 
uh, and then honored it is a very rare circumstance. I challenge you to find anybody in a city Jackson size that could call the police chief at any given moment and the police chief respond to any one uh, criminal investigation, right? Uh, so I think that that more or less demonstrates his character more than anything, that he committed to something early on his, his Sunday and followed through with it. Uh, but I will let Chief speak mm -hmm. to uh, what the communication was. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, you're exactly right. She uh, called me on Saturday. I called her back. She didn't answer. I called her back. She didn't answer. I called her back. She didn't answer. She calls me back and said her phone was dead. So it was late Saturday evening, way after night, and then we agreed to meet on Sunday, which I uh, met with her, and she provided me with the information she had. So you never agreed to meet with Jack? No, 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 no. Yes, yes, we'll be handling and we'll continue with the investigation. Well, I, we, I received the call and I responded within 24 hours. I got a call yeah, from a sister. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and, and some of this, you know, uh, there are certain things that, that we anticipate um, you know, that, that the city, you know, needs to be considerate of the words that we share with you today. Uh, we certainly, if we had our druthers, would wish that this circumstance did not take place in the way that it did in terms of, one, uh, there being any sexual relationship, right? Uh, and we certainly are, are regretful that this officer lost his life. Uh, all of those things are regretful for not only the police department, the families, uh, citizens in Jackson. Uh, but if you're asking the question uh, whether we felt that the response, once these tragic details were revealed, was sufficient, I believe that it was. Yeah. Thank you all so much. All right. Thank you.